Hey YouTube, today's tutorial is all about achieving your perfect nude lip. I use several different methods and products to achieve my perfect nude lip and I wanted to share those methods and products with you. So if you want to see how you can achieve your perfect nude lip, stay tuned. The first product that I use or method that I use to achieve my perfect nude lip is actually just using regular basic concealer. I sometimes use the concealer in my shade. I'm NC50, so that'll be this one in the middle. Or I use the actual concealer that I use to highlight my brows. Today I'm gonna to use NC50 uh, just because I just want something neutral. I want it to be neutral across my entire lip. Now I will say before you start applying concealers to your lips or any products to your lips, you need to moisturize your lips first. They need to be either exfoliated first and or you need to moisturize. I suggest you moisturize your lips as soon as you apply your moisturizer to your face and or your primer. I use and I am raving about and loving Neosporins lip treatment. This stuff is amazing. I love how it just really, really makes my lips super soft and it makes the lip products that I use super easy to apply. Now, because I use that first, by the time I get to my foundation and on my lips, it's still a little bit of product there. So I just take a paper towel or a napkin or even sometimes my um, toilet tissue, to be honest, and I just blot just a little bit of that product off. Now, I'm going to go into my NC50. This this particular concealer came out a couple of years ago. I don't think it's sold anymore. Sorry. But if you have any of the regular potted concealers, you want to use your skin tone or whatever concealer you put on and it looks as natural or as close to your skin tone as possible. So I'm literally just going to take my finger and just dab a little bit. And that's just the NC50. If you find you need a little bit more, just pick up a little more. Now for me, this is fine. What I would do next is take chai lip, lip glass. And I'm out the door. That's my first method to doing a perfect new lip. Simple, easy, doesn't require a lot of product. No need to go out and buy anything if you already have these products or products similar in your in your arsenal. So that method is taking your concealer, your skin tone concealer, or the concealer that you use to um, cover any blemishes, dabbing it onto your lips with your finger, and any flesh tone or nudie lip glass that you have that you usually use if you're trying to achieve a new lip. I also, from time to time, if I don't want to have any, like let's say I didn't want to use chai, I would actually use a clear lip glass, clear lip balm. This is by CNO Bigelow. I got this from, um, what's the name of that store? Bed, bed and Bath, Bed and Body. One of those stores, you guys know, she'll use this every day. So let's say for an example, if I didn't want to use Chai or I didn't want to use like See Through or um, Young Thing, I would use this instead of those products and it'll give me the same look and I'll achieve the same method. All right, on to my next method. I'm gonna wipe this off. My next method requ requires an actual lip product. Now, like I said before, I am an NC50. So on my NC50 skin, most lighter lipsticks usually work for me. One of my favorite lipsticks by MAC, I, it has to be my all time favorite lipstick by MAC, is Sis. I adore this color. Like there is no other lipstick that can do what Sis does for me. I love sis. Sis is something that if you follow my blog, you know I wear sis in 97% of my FOTDs. Now, to achieve this look, I usually take BBQ lip liner, which looks like this. And I apply that lightly to my lips.
a tip that I use, I never try to go in directly with the lip liner because one, you're gonna wear down the point and you, put, you usually apply too much color. So I usually go and I take it from the side. after I've applied the BBQ lip liner. And you can use whatever lip liner works for you. I've used um, cork, I've used chestnut. Just make sure that it's light. It's not, you don't want anything that's gonna to be too heavy. And for some people, if you have a natural darker outer liner, you know, your lips are naturally dark on the outer edges, don't use a lip liner at all. Just go in with your color and you'll be fine. Then I take this. And if I want a matte or a creamy look, I'll leave it like this. If I want to amp it up just a little bit, I'll go in with Boy Bait. My Boy Bait is almost gone, but... And that's it. 